going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Five snows, baby. I'm the new tech. Today, we got 47 mods on the testing list, and we got five modders to talk about, including the return of 82 Studio. Let's check it out. Starting off with our mods and testing, today we have 47 mods on the list and they are all in stage 1 aka PC testing. Some notable mods on that list include the fan favorite Vario series, digital gas station displays, and the Ursa 1614. Also testing, we have the Vermeer BC-1000XL, American Falls, Gumpen Megafield and Forest Map, that sounds really cool, Riverview Farm, and Ballam Road Dairy Farming. And rounding out our testing list, we have Exhaust Extension, 699 Winch Skitter, Case H Concord Air Drill System, losing my voice, John Deere 608, 708C Headers, and the New Holland 180.55. With all that being said, we still have 214 mods city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 15 work days. And if those numbers sound really high, well, these are the largest numbers we've seen in a while. But... At least John's are back testing mods again. So then let's jump into modern news and we start with Ridiculous Dominic who says that his Lizard MJ Mountain Goat is pending release. Now this does not mean that it's going to release today as we really don't know when mods are going to be released. But the next time we do get mods, this is going to be out. I've done a first look on this so I'll make sure to leave that link below. One person you guys have been asking about a lot recently is 82 Studio and he is back. And if we go to the description of his recent live stream that he did yesterday, we see this. He says that he came back from a forced break due to personal life and they were recovering the last three projects that got him excited and said he'll be pushing through with those. But in his live stream last night, he just had some fun in an open server, uh, enjoying multiplayer. And if it wasn't obvious what those three projects are, I believe that's his Volvo truck on the top left hand side. The top right looks like some sort of off-road buggy, which I believe we've seen before. Uh, and then, of course, we've got some more tow trucks. Speaking of trucks, Mac Truck and I do one found a truck idea that he really likes. So, as you guys can see right here, we've got a semi truck with tracks on the back. I believe those are rubber tracks, so they can be used on the road or something similar to that. And he wants to know, do you guys want to see this? Of course, we do have a few trucks with uh, <laughs> with tracks on them already from 82 Studio, but uh, Mac Trucker doesn't have any yet. Mac Trucker, yeah. Just do it. We want to see it. You're awesome. Next up, GNFS has a tipper that they're working on. It says modeling is 100% done, and they're working on textures right now. This will be a trailer for all platforms. I believe we have a few things similar to this, but what really kind of stands out to me with this, at least, is the wheels, the dual wheels like this. I love that style on here, and we get to see it on the back of a tractor. Oh, this is going to be pretty cool. And lastly today, Bullet Bill shows off a few things that are coming with his map that maybe we haven't talked about as much. One of the aspects is going to be chopped straw layers that appear when choosing to not drop straw swath or the crops that have no straw windrowable. He's also got some new textures and stubble destruction. He's added this to most of the crops on his map and he actually shows it off a little bit. Uh, so you guys can see this right here. We've got little bits in the middle that are just completely gone. Uh, and then the stubble themselves, you can see where the straws kind of drop down in between the crop. This is really nice and those track tires in between, or the tractor tires anyway. This is, it's just beautiful. Bull Bill just does it. And if you want a side by side, he also did that as well. You guys can see right here. This is what the exact same thing looks like in the base game. Well, guys, that is it. That is all the news I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said, Hope you have a great day. And we will see you later. What? I really like these no script days. I just get to talk about what's going on, share my opinions, and have fun doing it.